we are seeing um, a nexus between the opposition parties in Bharat as their credibility dissipates, as their incompetence and nepotism and dynastic uh, uh, discrimination becomes uh, such a heavy burden for them and they disappear. Their unpleasantness and their cunning and their desire to do harm to the nation seems to be increasing. Jeromeji, you mentioned that uh, Prime Minister Modiji was banned. Um, I can share a little bit of information with you. When our um, Home Secretary, she was just a parliamentarian at that time, Priti Patel, she visited uh, Chief Minister Modiji in Gujarat on a trade mission. And that's when we first discovered that there was a ban in place. Further research. Um, brought to light the fact that the instruction and the request for the ban actually emerged from an opposition political party in Bharat, and it won't take too much to guess which one it was. And so the Labour Party, which was in government at that time, they're the ones who instituted the ban first and foremost. And that do that set the dominoes tumbling. The United States was then able to leverage that. And it is there is a definite outsourcing of political hate propaganda uh, that's now visible and its roots I think are also shared by the opposition parties in Bharat. Uh, about that uh, Panditji, I would like to ask you that do you think that this outsourcing of uh, hate political propaganda was it always in place or uh, is it is it a recent phenomenon? There is a something called the International Socialists Pact and the Congress Party in India and the Labour Party in the United Kingdom are both signatories to this. Um, David Miliband, brother of Ed Miliband, uh, former leader of the Labour Party, there are photographs on record, we have uh, records as well, of him visiting Amiti and doing, um, uh, shall we say, political sloganeering and campaigning for Rahul Gandhi. So, uh, you know, what on earth would take somebody like David Miliband to Amiti? This is an old, old relationship. The thing is that now, because they're desperate, their hand is being revealed on a, a daily basis. The response to it, though, is important. You know, I'm reminded of that famous boxing match with um, Muhammad Ali, where he stood on the side of the ropes, taking a pummeling and a beating and a beating. And each time he'd come back and say, I'm still here. But the beating didn't stop until he responded, and he responded in a manner which defeated the enemy. And our Bharatiya government has a reputation for the first part of that uh, particular um, policy or strategy, in that we take a beating again and again and again, and we're still here, but we're bruised and we're injured. And I think uh, what Jerome G said is that a robust response is required, and this um, case is the opportunity for that robust response. We need to draw a line in the sand. A precedent needs to be established that there are consequences of creating civil discord and um, strife and friction between communities as a result of political propaganda and hate speech generation. There must be consequences, otherwise it's going to increase. Between now and 2024, we will see a deluge compared to what has already gone in the past, we are going to see a global campaign to defame Hindus, to elevate us to the hated status of the, the Nazis, for example. We were, we're already seeing allegations of fascism and all sorts of nonsense. Um, and the, uh, the, the partial vision, which completely ignores the fact that Bharat is the first democracy, we're the largest democracy, and Prime Minister Modiji has had the democratic mandate, the largest democratic mandate in the history of democracy, twice has been granted to him. On the other hand, we have the United States, whose electoral system seems to be more akin to a banana republic, and the United Kingdom. Who is the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? You know, there is a question mark over it. These states have not got stable political systems. We have a stable political system and it is delivering the vision of the people of Bharat. That must be protected, and the responsibility for protecting it falls on the government of India. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content, and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.